We flipped the entire course using the MOOC pre-calculus on POC, Polymy Open Knowledge. At home, students had to attend the MOOC and in classroom, they were proposed challenging exercises. The MOOC is made of short videos that recall the basic math concept the students have been exposed to during high school years. Then a series of procedural exercise is proposed. All the solutions can be checked. Challenging exercises in classroom, indeed, have been designed in order to enhance the student's ability to reflect on mathematical ideas beyond the procedure. The course was designed to prepare first-year university students to face STEM programs. It made sense to flip the entire course. At the present, we are analyzing data from classroom interaction and from MOOC attendance. But we can anticipate that the students appreciated the structure of the course and engaged in both a distance and presence activities. Class time was reorganized with respect to the previous year. Previously, the students attended a longer in-presence course and MOOC took the role of supporting material. This year, the students spent 30 hours in classroom. In the first half of each lecture, the students were given challenging tasks and they had to resort their knowledge and skills to solve them. In the second half of each lecture, a classroom discussion allowed to both build the correct solutions and to reflect on the conceptual features beyond the procedures. Each class lasted four hours. In the student-oriented part, students were asked to solve problems by themselves and to answer some theoretical questions and exercises. In particular, in the first 20 minutes of the lecture, students answered questions filling the worksheet designed by tutors and based on courseware of pre-calculus MOOC. Such activity was called warm-up. Then the students engaged in a bigger set of exercises and a classroom discussion. The role of the tutor was to both allow doubt and questions to emerge from the students and to enhance students' awareness about deeper mathematical concepts. The purpose of the warm-up activity was twofold. To introduce a topic and a specific kind of exercise and to check whether students watched the video. Moreover, a survey about satisfaction was conducted. At the present, we are still analyzing data. In the future, we will be able to tell much more details. We supported our flipped strategy using the web platform POC and the forum section of Precalculus MOOC. Actually, many people were involved in different ways. Three researchers at Politecnico di Milano were mainly involved in the design of the flipped experience. Chiara Andrà, a researcher in math education, Giulia Bernardi, a researcher in mathematics, and myself, a researcher on MOOC from both educational and modeling point of view. We designed the warm-up activity, wrote the exercises, and held the classes. Very crucial for both task design and data analysis was Igor Kontorovic, researcher in mathematics education, who helped us to structure entire course in its congruity. Moreover, our colleagues at Politecnico di Milano, professors Giulio Magli, Marco Verani, Nicola Parolini, Maurizio Zani, inspired our work with their precious comments, as well as other tutors of the course.
At the first sight, students looked skeptical. However, many of them became enthusiastic about the new approach already after the second lecture. We decided to flip for at least three reasons. We wanted the students to get much more involved during the classes, not just staring at us during a frontal lesson. We wanted to focus on practical activities rather than theoretical ones. Thus, we needed a tool with this purpose. Each practical activity should precede the corresponding theoretical reflection. We wanted to try and test such a methodology which allowed us to ask the students to recall basic math concepts at home, then arrive in classroom equipped with basic theoretical knowledge, and to use them in challenging tasks. Theoretical knowledge thus resulted to be refined after classroom activities. Our expectations were to achieve the goals we set, but also one could say to enjoy more teaching. The most difficult thing we had to deal with was to change our mind about traditional approaches. That means we needed to rethink about a different approach and to design lectures accordingly. There were two main difficulties during the course itself. The first one regarded the management of the classroom. It is no doubt that the classes are noisier, since the students are asked to talk each other and to share their thoughts. The second one was the effort of avoiding to record the theoretical concept reviewed by students using the videos. It was always a strong temptation to start with theory first, and then go to application exercises. But this was not the design of the course. There is not a strong evidence that flipping the class would enhance teaching and improve learning. However, classes were more interactive and students were more involved than in the past. We, as a lecturers, were more challenged and we enjoyed this new way of teaching. It was funny and we felt stronger connection with the students. The data we collected are pre and post satisfaction survey, a math test and out at the end of the course, and the solution of warm-up exercises. The analysis of this data will allow us to better understand the course at both fine-grain and overarching perspectives. Based on this data analysis, we will change the activities in order to improve learning and teaching. We checked the literature. However, information and suggestions were not enough to understand the benefits of such methodology, at least, about this specific topic. We consulted the existing literature, but with lack of benefits. Many practical information exists, as well as logistic suggestions. We missed theoretical contributions and reflections about the specific features of such a methodology. We have not been trained on flipped classroom, Actually, I told the students about the setting and the aims of the lectures, but I did not stress the novelty of the approach. My feeling is that the students were satisfied. It is of course my personal opinion, based on direct classroom observation. We cannot say anything at the present. Data are still under analysis. Which is, 
our overall evaluation of this experience? This question is quite tricky because we don't have the conclusion of our data analysis yet. However, I think that the goals were achieved, at least partially. Therefore, I am satisfied and enthusiastic. I think that the next year we will fall this way again, improving the weak points. Just one suggestion, enjoy the teaching and involve the students. Thank you.